one uh, newspaper headline that came out uh, showing uh, uh, the persecution of the Jews and saying, where was God? Um, the secret things, he said, belong unto the Lord our God. Well, think of 1944 as we approach chapter 30 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee and the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee that thou shalt call them to mind among the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. So here in 1944 as the war began to wind down as we began to fight in, in intense uh, intensity uh, with vigilance against the Nazis and uh, the Jews were being killed 24 hours a day burned in the... Uh, in, in the uh, uh, killed in the gas chambers and burned in the furnaces of the death camps. This is what it says. It shall come to pass that when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. That's 1944. Huh? Now listen to 1945, verse 2. And shall return to the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and, I was, and with all thy soul. 1945. That, it was in April of 1945 that Hitler blew his brains out. It was in August of 1945 the big bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. I mean, 1945 was the end of the war the liberation of the slaves in the death camps the Jews were set free at last free at last and what does this verse say thou shalt return unto the Lord thy God <laughs> about that well listen to verse 3 and think of 1946 that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. So it was in 1946 that the Jews began to say, we have no place else to go. Let's go home. Let's go back to the land of our fathers. That's when the uh, Zionist Congress began to, to uh, talk to politicians and to the leaders of nations and to the United Nations and tried to set up get delegations to go to the UN and, and lobby for a, a, a state for the Jews. I will turn thy captivity. Listen to 1947's verse, verse 4. And by the way, remember it was in 1947 in September that the UN sent a delegation to Palestine to look over the situation between the Jews who lived there who had trickled back in over five different alias, uh, that is returns, uh, from the 1800s all the way through to that time. And uh, to look over the situation between the Jews and the Arabs or the Palestinians who lived there. And they came back and suggested that the UN establish the State of Israel. So in November, I think it's November 29th, 1947, the United Nations voted to establish a state for the Jews, a Jewish state. Verse 1947, verse 4. If any of thine be driven unto the outmost parts of heaven from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee and from thence he will fetch thee in other words the Lord's going to bring back home to the promised land all the scattered Jews who will hear the voice of God and return now that should only be a remnant that returns and yet the Lord promises their return so verse 5 this would be 1948. This is the 5,708th verse of the Bible. And let me digress for just a moment to tell you that our King James Version of the Bible is six verses different from the Hebrew text of the Bible. They add three verses to Exodus chapter 19 uh, during the Ten Commandments. We add three verses that Jews do not have those three verses. And over in Deuteronomy, when the Ten Commandments are repeated, we add three verses that the Hebrew does not have. So we're th six verses down the road from them. But they count the verses. I mean, the Hebrew um, is the text that they count, okay, that they read. So in the Hebrew text, this would be the 5,708th verse of the Bible. Think of 1948. Here it is. 
And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. What can I say? The rabbis counted the verses, and they say these verses refer to the Holocaust and to our return to the land of our forefathers. In 1948, May 14th, 1948, the land of Israel was established, the Jewish state. The British flag was lowered, and the new Star of David with the, with the blue bars on either side of the flag, representing the blue ribbons on each side of the talit, the Jewish prayer shawl, was hoisted over the land for the first time in 1813 years, 1948. And you know, it was the 5,708th verse and the Jewish calendar year 5708. Wow. By the way, the return of the Jews is the super sign. You know that, don't you? Of all the signs that there could be, I mean, wars, rumors of wars, uh, earthquakes, famines, pestilences, this is the super sign. Now learn the parable, Jesus said, of the fig tree, and the fig tree is Israel. When its branches yet tender and shoot forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things come to pass, know that it is near, even at the doors. This generation shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. The super sign, the rebirth of the state of Israel in 1948. The Jewish calendar year 5708. And the 5,708th verse of the Bible predicted it. I'm J.R. Church. We'll see you again tomorrow with our analysis of the news.